Smart Notebook has a feature inside it called Screen Capture. Clicking on the little camera up on the main toolbar, a window will pop open with some more buttons for you to use. Four choices for grabbing material from your screen, anything that shows up on your screen, and dropping it into one of the pages in Smart Notebook. So let's pretend that we're going to do a lesson on puzzles, games and puzzles. Perhaps I want to talk about some of the facts of the Rubik's Cube, but I want to have this ready to go in my Smart Notebook file. I can choose the first button. The first capture tool allows me to draw a rectangle around what I'm going to grab. And then I click and drag around what I'm going to grab, let go of the mouse, and you'll hear a camera snapshot sound. When we go back to Smart Notebook, you will see that on the main page, what I drew a box around has now been grabbed and saved into the page. This can be, you know, rotated and manipulated. I can use my pen tools over it and make annotations and those kinds of things. Um, pretty much anything, and this can be part of a, a, a larger lesson. Um, perhaps, though, that I maybe didn't want this bottom block here. It's kind of hard to draw a rectangle and, uh, and, and get rid of that part. So what we could do is instead, we'll pull up the window one more time. Instead of a rectangle, we could use the last button here, the freeform tool. Clicking on that gives me a pen that I can pretty much just draw and trace around what I'm looking for. And I'm going to skip the second bullet and go up here. Another camera sound indicates that this has been dropped in and you can see I you know wasn't very wasn't careful enough but I still got a little bit of the green here and those kinds of things but you could go around exactly what you wanted and get a, a non-rectangle capture. By the way this got snapshot and placed onto, this capture is placed onto a new page. Now if you didn't want that, if you wanted it to go back onto the original page um, just uncheck this button and then um, future snapshots won't go on there. Let's take a look at this button right here. This button does an, an entire screen capture. Now I have two monitors um, so in this case it's going to give me a choice which one do you want to grab and so I will snapshot uh, this one right here number two and you can hear the camera sound it took an entire screen grab of my um, second monitor and uh, really, I'm not exactly sure how you're going to use that. I find the rectangle um, selection a much more useful tool. But eh, now you know it's there. Um, finally, the last tool right here allows you to grab sections of a window. So let me demonstrate how that works. If I was going to go here, I could grab like this. And I could show like, hey, there's multiple pages. I want to demonstrate different things in maybe Smart Notebook or any type of software. So wherever I click, these, these lines here indicate what's going to be captured. So if I go right here, now that section has been added to my Smart Notebook file. You know, I can grab anything um, from any type of software, anything that's on my screen. So if I wanted to demonstrate something um, back to the puzzle theme, for example, I could put um, my document camera up. This is a, in the IPVO document camera. And under here, I have an actual Rubik's Cube sitting in here. And let's say maybe I wanted to make some sort of instructions or something about what I was doing. And uh, I get this set up to where I want it for capture and then I can simply go back to the capture tool draw a rectangle around what I want and you can see the little line kind of blinks and shows where you are let go of the mouse and another capture has been added to Smart Notebook. Again, I can turn this and get this to where I want it. I could use that free form again and trace around and just get the Rubik's Cube and it would get rid of the white background and shadows and stuff like that. So that is an easy way to get your document camera materials into your smart notebook, um, clips from a web page, anything you want for you to make a more relevant um, lesson. Enjoy!